on a scale of one to ten, and uh, I, I again, I'm going to be that guy, Sean. I remember watching yeah. Morgan Barron when he played at St. Andrews College in Aurora, and I, I did. Like he's always going to St. Andrews to watch, and I still do to go watch Dave Manning's crew. And there's Morgan Barron, who's a who was a big part of that squad for a couple of years. Uh, how big a cult hero is Morgan Barron now? Oh my goodness. Uh, they love them everywhere. And I mean, it's, it's the sports world entirely. I mean, everything with the right? PTI was talking about him yesterday around the horn was yeah. talking about him yesterday. Um, I mean, the, the number sure helps the number of stitches that he took sure helps. Now I, I think this is, you know, <laughs> the, the old days of when you got a stick, when you got stitches and your cut was about one inches, that was about five to six stitches. I think those days are gone. These players yeah. now are getting stitched up by plastic surgeons. So there are micro stitches this is this is plastic surgery on the run not uh not someone grabbing yeah. a needle and thread and throwing you back out on the ice but uh hey uh he was talking with us after the game uh, mark shifley walked by and said look at that battle scar like this is one of those things that not only has made him a bit of a cult hero in the winnipeg jets locker room which is kind of feeling it you know that the second last game of the season they went to mm -hmm. war with uh the minnesota wild and adam Lowry had that fight with Ryan Reeves. This is a team yeah. now that's kind of bought in and it gets so much easier to go out and block that next shot or take that hit when you look in the stall over and see a guy with zippers running up and down his face. So not only in the dressing room, not only kind of in the sports world, but back in Winnipeg, you get the sense, you know, there's going to be a whiteout. There's going to be a hero's return, not just for the Jets, but Morgan Barron. If he wasn't a household name in Winnipeg before this, he most definitely is now. Does it not make it really simple for the coaching staff now? Like when you have someone like Morgan Barron who just took a, uh, you know, just took a skate in the face, is it not easy for Rick Bonus to walk around the room and say, like, to your point, look at Morgan Barron. Look what this guy took and came back to the game. Get out there and do this. Yeah, it, it's easier than that because they don't have to say it. Right. Like they do. He doesn't even have to say, look at this. The the, the players are already there. They're already reacting yeah. like that. Uh, and, and I think, uh, you know, when he got back on the bench, Gary Galley was sitting in between the excuse me, working in between the benches. And he you know, he said afterwards we were you know, talking about it. Just you could see the life on the bench and how excited the players were when he came back out. Uh, like I'd said, this to me is a continuation. That mindset is a continuation that the Jets really locked in in that second last game of the season uh, where they're just all on board for each other. The, the Jets media took a, a video of Adam Lowry coming off the ice after fighting Ryan Reeves. And you can see Ryan or Adam Lowry is not there in that moment he is his eyes are glossed mm. over he is not there but his teammates are around him brendan dillon who'd been ejected from the game earlier is slapping him on the shoulder Axel Janssen fialbi giving him a big pat on the butt yeah. like everyone is locked in everyone's got each other's backs it, it is a real interesting case for these winnipeg jets because not just in kind of getting their lines locked in at the end getting their offense locked in this really was an 11th hour winnipeg jets team that is coming together and gelling in almost every area of their game and that area that you're talking about is highly important where guys have each other's backs and are willing to run through walls for each other and this all just kind of locked in right yeah. at the last minute the, the timing of this for the Jets could not be better.